Don't want to watch a 25 minute video on your next playable job? Well, here's my mini guide to Warrior that will give you every major rotation with a teensy explanation so you can jump right in at any level. Y'all have TikTok brains, so I think these style of videos are going to better suit most players who are looking for exact rotations. Make sure to hit that like button to support the series. Now let's talk Unga Bunga Warrior. Tank stance on. Upgrade your gear regularly or you'll do poopy damage. And equip your job zone at level 30, noob. Keep at least one mitigation up at all times through leveling. When you get more, use two maximum. Let's jump into your first dungeon. Warrior level 15 single target rotation is Berserk, Heavy Swing, Main. Warrior's level 15 AoE target rotation is Berserk, Overpower Spam. These rotations are groundbreaking, I know. Berserk works on your next three weapon skills attacks, aka GCDs. Warriors should be using AoE on three or more enemies, single target on two or less, just make sure you keep aggro on both. By level 35, you'll get your third GCD combo ability, Storm's Path. Now your single target GCD combo will give you at least 30 Beast Gauge, which is Warrior's job abilities. Berserk, aka your buffs, should be used on Inner Beast or Storm's Path since these are the highest potencies you have at this level. Main takeaway, do not overcap your beast gauge. Use on inner beast or AoE version still cyclone, even if you don't have your buff from Berserk on. You'll basically be stuck at your 3 GCD combo and using your beast gauge until level 50, where we'll get our next rotation change. At level 50, you will get Infuriate, which is going to be a major player in rotations. It essentially gives you 50 beast gauge to spend. Warriors level 50 single target rotation is Heavy Swing, Weave, Infuriate, Maim, Weave Berserk, Storm's Eye, Inner Beast, Weave Inferiorate, Inner Beast, Heavy Swing, Maim, Storm's Path, Inner Beast. Warriors level 50 AoE target rotation is Overpower, Mithril Tempest, use Beast Gauge on Still Cyclone. Preferably use your buff Berserk on the highest potencies which is Still Cyclone and Mithril Tempest. If you notice, we have two GCD paths now. One gives you more beast gauge and one gives you a buff to damage, Surging Tempest. Don't let Surging Tempest run out and don't overcap the timer. You're basically just alternating between these two GCD paths. The goal is to get as much beast gauge as possible without running out of your buff. So the Warrior's GCD combo is a little bit more fluid. And for those of you who have already done your research, you might notice that you can get Infuriate slightly earlier by opening with Tomahawk or Provoke, as you can't use Infuriate unless you're in battle. I will still put it behind Heavy Swing for simplicity's sake, but if you want to go above and beyond and start practicing your level 90 opener, you can open any pool with Tomahawk or Provoke and then use Infuriate to get that timer going just a little bit sooner. At level 54, you'll get the infamous Fell Cleave, ability upgrade from Inner Beast. Fell Cleave go burr, basically what Warrior is famous for in Final Fantasy XIV, while that and being its own godly self-healer. At level 62 and 64, you'll get Onslaught and Upheaval respectively, which are just OG CDs to throw in your rotation for more damage. At level 66, you'll get a very important trait called Enhanced Infuriate, which is when you use Fell Cleave, Decimate, Still Cyclone, or Inner Beast, basically any of your Beast Gauge abilities, it lowers the timer for Infuriate by 5 seconds. This is why sometimes we can get a lot of Fell Cleaves in a row if planned correctly for our level 90 opener. You just have upgrades to your GCD combos up until level 70, which is our now turn the corner rotation change and gives us our Unga Bunga energy, all thanks to Inner Release. Warriors level 70 single target rotation is Heavy Swing, Weave Infuriate, Maim, Storm's Eye, Weave Inner Release, Fell Cleave, Double Weave, Upheaval and Onslaught, Fell Cleave, Weave Infuriate, Fell Cleave, Weave Onslaught, Fell Cleave, Fell Cleave. Holy Fell Cleave, Batman. The reason we wait on the second inferior rate is because if you use it too early, you'll still have 70 gauge. And if you use it too early, you're going to waste 20 of the gauge before we can use it. Warriors level 70 AOE rotation, the ultimate rotation in the game. Overpower, Mithril Tempest, and a release decimate spam. Yeah, Warriors AOE rotation doesn't get more riveting than that. At level 72, Infuriate will get an upgrade called Nascent Chaos for your AoE and single target Beast Gauge Spender. For AoE, Decimate will upgrade to Chaotic Cyclone, and Fell Cleave will upgrade to Inner Chaos upon using Infuriate. 
It's just more damage potency, essentially. At level 90, you'll unlock Primal Ren. This is the pinnacle of the Unga Bunga energy, which is one of the coolest animations in game, I personally think. And for some reason, always makes me think of Crash Bandicoot. What have I got? You will get this ability by using Inner Release. Before we go over the level 90 rotation, let's triple make sure that you understand this kind of replacement mechanic for abilities for Warrior. Inner Beast will turn into Feld Cleave, which will turn into Inner Chaos. Still Cyclone will turn into Decimate, which will turn into Chaotic Cyclone. And Berserk will turn into Inner Release. Sometimes it can be really confusing, but these are basically just replacing each other at higher levels or under certain buffs and conditions. Warrior's level 90 standard single target rotation from the balance discord would be Tomahawk, Weave and Fury, Heavy Swing, Mame, Storm's Eye, Weave, Inner Release, Inner Chaos, Double Weave, Upheaval and Onslaught, Primal Rend, Weave Infuriate, Inner Chaos, Weave Onslaught, Fell Cleave, Weave Onslaught, Fell Cleave, Fell Cleave, Heavy Swing, Mame, Storm's Path, Fell Cleave, Weave Infuriate, Inner Chaos. Your abilities may vary if your skill speed is faster than 2.47. Most tanks operate really well around a base speed of 2.5, and I really like that playstyle myself, so you gotta figure out what speed works for you in your gameplay. AoE is literally the same just with Primal Rent. Let's quickly touch on mitigations. Tanking mitigations are not as difficult as you first believe. Having one or two up while leveling is a sweet spot. Mitigations are multiplicative and not additive, so you don't need to blow your warrior load all at once. You just need about two and rotate through while you're pulling through dungeons and trash pools. Honestly, for trials, you really only need one at any given time. I think the most confusing thing for Warrior is they have a little bit more self-healing than other jobs, and those are still considered mitigations. If you think about Thrill of Battle, it's basically like a 20% increase in HP, and this can be treated like your tank buster mitigation. Raw Intuition is basically a damage mitigation as well as a self heal every 25 seconds. It's actually kind of broken. If you like this style of video of just rotations and a teensy bit of explanation, then let me know because I can't read your mind. I'll be doing all the jobs in this style and revising the job videos for when Dawn Trail comes out. Thank you to my Patreon and Discord monthly members as your donations literally keep this channel going. If you want to watch other mini guides, then you can find that in the description box or by clicking here.